Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is 8 to the power of 6 plus 8 to the power of 4, this is equal to 80. What is the value of A, given that A is a member of real numbers, and that A is greater than 0? So let's prevent the solution from here. So we have our problem here as 8 to the power of 6 plus 8 to the power of 4, this is equal to 80. We can express 8 to the power of 6. This is the same thing as 8 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2. Then plus 8 to the power of 4. This can be expressed as 8 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 80 from here. The next step from here, 8 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power m, which we can express as a to the power of m raised to the power n. So let's apply this exponent property from here, so that we have a to the power of 2 raised to the power 3, then plus a to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 80. The next step from here, we can let a to the power of 2 be equal to x. So let's substitute a to the power of 2 with x. So we have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2. This is equal to 80 from here. So let's take 80 on the left hand side so that we have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 minus 80. This is equal to 0. So this is a cubic function or a polynomial of degree 3 from here. Now we have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 subtract 80 which we can express as 64 plus 16. This is equal to 0. Now we have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 subtract 64 then from here, minus times plus 16, this is minus 16, this is equal to 0 from here. Now we have x raised to the power 3 plus x to the power of 2, subtract 64, this is the same thing as 4 to the power of 3, then minus 16, which is 4 to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. So we have x to the power of 3 and 4 to the power of 3, so we can express this as x to the power of 3 minus 4 to the power of 3, then plus x to the power of 2, minus 4 to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. So we have two parts here, we have two parts here. This is the difference of two cubes expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. And we have the second part here, which is the difference of two perfect squares expressed as a squared minus b squared from here. Now from the first part here, which is the difference of two cubes, which is a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this can be expressed as a minus b. Here we have a squared plus ab plus b squared. So let's apply this identity so that now here we have x minus 4. We have x squared plus 4x then plus 4 squared, which is equal to 16. And let's call this equation 1. The second part here is the difference of two perfect squares, which is a squared minus b squared, which you can express as a plus b, a minus b. So this implies here we have x squared minus 4 squared, which we can express as x plus 4. And then we have x minus 4. So let's call this equation 2 from here. Let's add equation 1 and equation 2. So that now we have x minus 4. Here we have x squared plus 4x plus 16. Then plus here we have x plus 4. Then we have x minus 4. This is equal to 0. Now we have that x minus 4 is common here. So we can factor out x minus 4. 
so that now into the parentheses we have x squared plus 4x plus 16 then plus x plus 4 cross the parentheses here this is equal to 0 so we have two parts here the first part is x minus 4 this is equal to 0 the second part here is x to the power of 2 plus 4x plus x this is 5x then plus 16 plus 4 this is 20 this is equal to 0 from the first part here we have that x1 is equal to 4 x1 is equal to 4 from the second part here this is the quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c this is equal to zero so we need to assess the nature of this quadratic equation by determining the discriminant value which is b squared minus 4 is c from this quadratic equation from this quadratic equation here we have that a is equal to 1 b is equal to 5 and c is equal to 20. So to determine the nature of this quadratic equation, the root of this quadratic equation, we determine the discriminant value, which is b squared minus 4 is c. So let's substitute the values of a, b, and c from here, so that now we have 5 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 20. So this implies that here, 5 squared, this is 25 minus 20 times 4 which is equal to 80 so 25 minus 80 this is equal to minus 55 which is less than 0 from here and this implies that here we have two complex solutions we have two complex solutions and this implies that there is no real solution we have no real solution from this quadratic equation since a is a member of real numbers we are solving for a which is a member of real numbers so this implies that this quadratic equation is rejected let's proceed with x1 remember x1 is equal to 4 now this is the real num this is a real solution here so that if you recall if you recall, we are saying that red a squared b equal to x. Let's substitute here so that we have a squared, this is equal to 4. To solve for a here, we introduce square roots on both sides so that here we have plus or minus square root of 4. So this implies that the square root of a squared, this means that we can eliminate the square root sign so that we have a is equal to plus or minus the square root of 4 which is equal to 2. So from here we have a1 equal to 2 and a2 equal to minus 2. So we have two values of a, that is a1 and a2. The next step is to verify Let's verify that these two values of A satisfies the equation. So if you recall, we have that A to the power of 6 plus A to the power of 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 80. So let's substitute A1, which is 2. So we have 2 to the power of 4 plus, no, 2 to the power of 6. We have 2 to the power of 6 plus 2 to the power of 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 80. 2 to the power of 6, this is equal to 64. Plus 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 4, this is equal to 16. And this should give us a value of 80. 64 plus 16, this is equal to 80, which is equal to 80. So this means that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this implies that a1 satisfies the equation let's check a2 which is minus 2 so again we have 8 power 6 plus 8 power 4 
this is supposed to give us a value of 80. So we have minus 2 raised to the power of 6 plus minus 2 raised to the power of 4. This should give us a value of 80. Minus 2 to the power of 6, this is 64. Plus minus 2 raised to the power of 4, this is equal to 16. This is supposed to give us a value of 80. 64 plus 16, this is 80, which is equal to 80. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And therefore, A1 and A2 satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. Country, like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video.